the way back. Yeah. It's a deep pocket. It's got a bunch of, there's like a big rock in there or some rock mm -hmm. or something in there. Always fish sitting there. But I mean, yeah, there could be fish all the way back here on the waters like this because it looks really good right I'm now. I'm probably going to throw a double net break just because it's slow. Yeah. And it'll get down there. We'll yeah. give them a few options. Yeah. Maybe I need to go Oh, I should probably record something. Yeah, it's good. Um, so something, you know, it's early morning here in March and uh, we're going to fish this little run right up here. So as I think about fishing a little run like this, you know, three, four foot deep, a little slower current, I'm going to double nymph it, um, put two nymphs on. So I'm going to go ahead and tie on some more 5X tippet here. Something to always consider. Uh, we, we talk about this a lot in the Euro nymphing game is, is weight. Um, so the water's kind of slow, but we want to fish two water columns this time of year. So I want a nymph that's going to be my anchor fly that's going to sit way down in the current, get right there on the bottom, and then I'm going to tie a smaller offering up top, which is going to allow me to fish two different water columns and, and see where the fish are at. And once I figure out what water column those fish are sitting in, we're going to uh, be able to hone in on them and really play them. So let's figure this out. Maybe we'll get up here and show you a fish. And I'll throw a lot of slack in that leader right like through this right here. You can even pace them and float them a little bit and leave that bottom colored section right on the water. And it will just, I mean, it will shoot. <laughs> yep. There it is, folks. Rainbow? Yeah, right. rainbow on the waltz worm. Heck yeah, man. Woo. First fish of the day. Cool. Mm, pretty rainbow. Yeah. There should be eight. That is, this is like a gorgeous run. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Y'all got me excited. <laughs> Hit the old sexy waltz. Can't beat a sexy waltz. I tell you. I like that the fish yeah, thinks it's sexy. <laughs> oh, we follow it. Good nice burn. Oh, nice burn. Oh, Sorry, guys. No, put it back in there. The fish is just sitting right there. Wait, wait. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. I he, see. He went to the other side. Well, I like saw I, the swirl. I on didn't get thing. a good enough hook set. That, oh, fish. that, that happens. Yeah, that's what it is, man. Um, something you guys notice right here on my leader is kind of starting to coil up and that really will affect your drift, your nipping, especially your ability to strike detection. So it's real simple, just come, give it a good tug, a few times coming down through there. And as you'll notice here in just one second, I'll pull it back. It straightened it right out, just a few good tugs and that'll allow that whole leader to ride better coming through track detection would be a lot better. Something else though, as we look at this water, um, any depression that you see in these rocks, so you'll have these dark rocks out here, and any depression right behind those rocks, you're gonna have a fish. So, so something that you'll notice here in a minute when we're fishing it, is I'm gonna lower my rod tip as it goes over a rock, that nymph, and it's gonna allow that nymph to drop right behind that rock, and a lot of times those, those rainbows will sit right there and they'll just come up and, and peg your fly. So. We'll see if we can't catch one right here. I think it looks like a really good spot, especially this far bank over here. We'll try it and see if we can't call a fish. Huh. Yeah, that yeah, up, the uh, further uh, up you go, like. There, oh, that's not a bad one. There he is, boys. Real pretty fish. Real yeah, pretty fish. Oh, he's a male. Yeah, third. I mean, yeah. That's, that's a nice one. one. Very pretty fish. Oh, that's a terrible net job. Pretty fish, though. Yeah, it's a real pretty fish. Look. Right there should be a fish. Right there. Pretty He's fish. a superstar, baby. Woo! Pretty fish. Oh, whoa. he's like, uh-uh, not today. He's like, give me a minute, give me a minute. I'm not ready. I'm ready to jump to you for a time and get right, swim right into your net. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Another thing to think about here is the way your feet are positioned um, according to the flow of water. So right here, if if my left foot is up like this, my reach out is not as far as if my right foot was here. Now I'm open to the fish, open to the drift. So think about your feet and how they are in position your feet in correlation with the river. So if the river's going away from you or if it's coming to you, so right here I'm gonna get my right foot out so that I can reach just a little bit farther. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna lift that rod to the to the flies and see how it's letting it sink in there now. I know it's going to when you say lift the rod to the flies, how much are you lifting? I'm more, more pointing the rod to the flies to be maybe a better way to say it. So like, it's a cast up, and then I point, literally point to the flies, and that allows them to sink. I ate that top line when I said it. Oh, yeah, the top fan. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He must have ate that top yeah, fan. And then, yeah. Really unique to this type of fishing is in this really fast water, you can get down to these fish that are sitting right behind any rock um, with this system because you got just basically only thing going through the water column is a fly. You don't have no tension on the surface. So let's just get it right here on the far side here, right on the edge of this fast current, catch a fish real quick. Oh, uh, yeah, this is a good little rainbow here sitting right next to that rock. Little 16 millimeter. He gone. Bye bye. Six, uh, little 16 uh, nymph, uh, 2.5 millimeter bead, single fly, and sunk it right in there, and he ate. So I don't know. Pretty exciting to actually catch a fish. He's right against that rock. You're right He's against. Run, this rock for some reason. Yeah, something important um, is is changing your fly, and, I, and not as much as the pattern as much as it is the weight of that fly. So right here in front of us, we have a, a fairly deep hole, and uh, we're gonna put a 3.5 millimeter bead on to get it down with some lead wrapped on this hook to get it down deeper and see if we can't catch a fish out of it. Go ahead. That fly is so tore up. It shows it doesn't really matter. So basically, this is a way that uh, you can fish a dry dropper off that European rig. You just tie, tie your dry off the tag in, and what you do when you're floating it is you can float that dry like this, and you create a V like this. And all of a sudden, you're watching that V and watching that dry, and then all of a sudden, those fish will just, if they heat the net, man, boom. And we saw that big one just knock it. And any time yeah, a shallow ripple of water, man, it's on. It's deadly. Yep. I mean, he was literally about to explain it to us, and then he sat into that fish. Yeah, I was surprised how big he was. I was too, man. That's the biggest one we caught today. This right here, you can, literally, I can create that V like that, and I can watch you see that V open up, yep. and boom, you can just watch it. When you can almost, it's almost the way that you can keep your dry from sinking without like, exactly yep. affecting the drift of your slide. Exactly. You have that, so, because you have room that yeah, tag you have that allows room. it to, mm -hmm. which is super cool. So that's kind of an argument with my issue with dry dropping a lot of times is that I end up dragging the fly when I'm trying to keep the, if the dry starts getting wet. Mm -hmm. You're liable to have one hit that dry, by the way. That's what I'm hoping for. I mean, it'll happen. That last fish, folks, came right here, right out the slack water, right at the tail out of this hole. Um, you know, it's March and it's a good time to uh, fish that slack water. These fish are starting to warm up. The water's starting to warm up. They're getting a little more active, but brown trout especially, they, they really relate to structure well. So, so fish right on structure, um, even that the European nymphing style, you can sometimes even fish a single nymph and get it right up under that structure. Don't be afraid to float something up under structure and you might get a big, big hit like that. So that was a nice fish. Let's catch some more. Shows you how close they are to structure today. Yeah. Oh, 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 that's not bad. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh my god.
On a dry drop. Yes, sir. Dude, yes, sir. Good that's what I'm talking about. Boom. Wow. That's a nice fish. That's so cool. That's probably a 17 inch. Look how long it is. Yeah, we'll yeah, measure him. We'll measure him.